I don't know, some type of microchip in there. Look at all the fish, bro. Oh my God. You don't swim away. Oh my God. Let's catch him up. Woo! With catch him up fishing with Zach Ketchum. Look at this fish. Oh my God. Catch him up. Guys, it's getting so cold out here. Like literally, it's probably 72 degrees and I wanna go fishing. I just got the sickest lures of all time. My friend just sent me the best lures. He gave me his lure company. I actually met him at iCatch, which is like a huge, like extravagant lure convention with all different types of stuff like that. But they have animated lures out Get there. <laughs> got Joey Slam. He's meeting us because he's gonna actually help us fish for what do we catch with these animated lures? These are lures that actually swim like live bait. So you have to charge them. I I've been charging them already. We're good, come on, guys. So these lures, guys, you charge them and they kick. What's up, Joey? Hey! I know, playing with the e up, Elijah. Up? So, e Elijah. <laughs> are you like that? I love that. You guys, you use some thin fluorocarbon, right? Just like you would in live bait, just 12 pound test usually, maybe 14 if you can get away with it, guys, because fluorocarbon is very, very strong and it's very, very crystal clear. It's hard to see. It's hard for fish to pick them up. We also need bobbers, guys. Look at the size of these things. Yes, I like the hey, bigger ones, you know. Match ball. <laughs> it's easy to see. Oh, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Big bobbers, guys. Uh, you can use a smaller one, but these lures are kind of heavy. The smaller ones are not heavy, but that's what I chose today. But I'm gonna use these so you can definitely see where this lure is and see the action of it. Back up a little bit and zoom in to the amazing lures that I have been charging. Check this out. Bro, it looks like a car battery guy, dude. Yeah, like seriously. That's how you charge these things. Just like that? Yeah, but look, USB? look, look at the front. Yep, USB charging. And they come in a box like this. These are the small ones. They have the giant ones, right? Yeah, they have giant ones, but guys, these are the smaller of the version, guys. They come in a box just like this, and you can see, it's called Animated Lure. Check it out. Check out the box so you guys can see exactly what this looks like in case you guys wanna find it at home. I'm definitely gonna look up the link so you guys can get them if you want. I'm gonna see if these things actually work. I haven't, you know, I haven't really tried them, but I think that they'll be okay. What? Animatedlure.com? Bring you the it says, animatedlure.com. Okay, now you guys know where to find these things, all right? If the smaller version doesn't work, then the bigger one definitely doesn't work. So. Check this out, you actually charge it just like this. I'm taking this off right now. This was plugged into a USB charger. You can use any cell phone charger, you know, those blocks, or anywhere that you can plug in a USB computer, anything, and it won't mess it up. Look at this, look at the mechanics on this. This is like a little torpedo kind of engine, you know, a little, yeah, little prop, prop. Just like on a boat. Exactly. So, what you do is you just tie your line right to the top of this, and the lure kicks and swims with this little prop. It's really Dad, interesting. Show us what's up. Bro. Okay, cool. This should be very similar to live bait, guys. How do you turn it on? You don't. You don't turn this lure on at all. What do you mean? All you gotta do is drop it in the water and it should like kick and swim around. So I wanna put this below the bobber, not too far away, just like that. And this lure is actually gonna kick underneath, just like a live bait. It's crazy, right? That's nuts. You want to try it in the pool? Yeah, let's ah! try it. <laughs> oh, there's someone back here. That's how we got the wedge in the pool. <laughs> oh my god. He's the best pool cleaner on the planet. But anyway. <laughs> Sorry, We're going to drop this inside the lake. We're going to try to catch some bass and peacocks. You never know, snakeheads. We could catch anything. But if this lure doesn't work right, it's literally just going to be a floating piece of plastic and nothing will eat this. So. Uh, we're gonna test it out right now to see how it works, see how it actually swims. I have seen videos on this and I have seen this in person actually. So we're gonna test it out, see what happens. This is my man's back there cleaning the pool. What's up bro? That's my boy. This son's actually a fan of mine. I don't know, a small world guys, but that's actually a really big world and we're actually doing pretty good. Love you guys at home, thank you for watching. What I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna put this guy in Elijah's tank. Hopefully Elijah doesn't tear this oh, up. Oh boy. Back up, go away. away. <laughs> but check this out. So, get a good view of the side of the tank, because I'm just gonna put this in and see what happens, okay? Wait, wait, wait. Don't turn it on, don't. Actually, yeah, yeah go ahead, that'll spook Elijah. Right. Perfect. There you go. All right. What happened? I think it has to sit for a minute. Hello? Maybe it knows what lake water is. Hey, Elijah. It's like inspecting. Oh! Oh! 
Wait, what? Oh, the prop fell oh, in wait. water. It flutters. Whoa. What the? It's wild. Oh, because it stops and then it goes again. It just doesn't go. Look, I thought it was broken. <laughs> that is so crazy. So it needs some more room. So we're actually gonna have to test it in a larger space. Look, 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 zoom into the thing. Watch the prop go. Oh yeah, you can see that if it had some more room that it would work for oh, sure. It's it's gonna be, this is gonna be insane. This actually might slay. It's gonna get tight all Yeah, right. for a second there, I thought it was just gonna be like a joke. This is actually 100% gonna get tight. Let's put it in the pool and see how it looks. Check it out. Look, right here is a perfect spot test this lure. So I'm going to drop it right here. Check this out. See what happens. Now it flutters apparently. So it doesn't immediately just start kicking. It lets the line sink. Look, oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It looks like a real fish. Gosh, 100%. dude. It's nice and jointed. That's too. gonna get crushed. I wonder what triggers it to turn on. I don't know. Some type of microchip in there is teaching this thing what it to do. Probably knows when it's wet. Yeah. It, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's how it turns on then for it sure. Goes on the the, loop. the connection. You know how there's like those little. Oh my god. That thing's nasty. This is the coolest lure. This is the coolest lure of all time. Wow. So instead of having live bait, guys, you can just cast this out. Obviously, it's on the end of this bobber. Make sure you have floral carbon, guys. You're gonna want that. It's gonna be really clear and you're gonna want that bite. You don't want That's the sick. bass or whatever you're trying to catch to be distracted by like a braided line or anything like that. You don't want it to get tangled up in the prop. I don't know how durable this whole thing is, but we're definitely gonna give it a little run through, see if this actually catches fish because it looks great. You know, it looks like a toy to be honest. Dude, it's so cool. And no, and it's kicking hard. So that's how long, we just dropped it right there. Now let's see, let's see what happens. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, so like Kick. 10 to 12 seconds. Dude, that is insane, dude. It kicks every 10 to 12 seconds. Now, I think it kicks faster than that, but it takes like 10 seconds to kick on. Let me see. I know. Mm. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, it's so like every three, four. Dude, that thing looks insane. This looks really wild. All right, cool. So we're gonna actually test this right now, guys. See if we can actually catch something. If we catch a fish on this. I'm getting a thousand. Yeah, I'm getting a thousand. One thousand. I wanna get a big one though. We don't even need fish in our tanks anymore. <laughs> we can just get these lures, fill up the pond, guys. Come Forget on. all this stuff. <laughs> guys, we're at, oh, oh, sorry. There's a lot of wildlife out here, but we're out here at the lake. It's crystal clear water. The temperature has dropped, so the bite is not amazing right now, but we do have our lure right here. We're gonna test it out today in a real life scenario. Check this out really quick. Check this out. Dude, wow. Okay, that looks a lot different now. Let's see what happens when we cast it out. Okay. Oh my, dude, that looks so legit. Okay, we're gonna reel this up. I'm not sure how much battery life it has. I'm gonna look on the box. It definitely says in the packaging. I think it's like, it's like four hours or something, but you could always charge it in a USB and have a USB charger or something. So I guess it really doesn't matter anyway. And if you buy two of these just back to back, that's like, I don't know, like forever. So let's go see if we can find some fish. There's actually some giant peacock bass over here. I don't want to spook them. What I'm going to do is just cast this and see if this actually is magic. There's literally gigantic peacocks here. Dude, there's so many fish right here. There he is. Look over there. Timmy, over there. Over there. Look over the lure. Look at the lure. Look at the lure. Timmy, the lure. Look at the lure. Oh my God. Look at all the fish. Do it again. Bro, oh my God, it's it's like tangled in the weeds. It's tangled in the weeds. Dude, I don't want to spook him all with this, this bobber though. Oh my God, oh my God. Did you see that? Dude, he had it. Oh my God, he had it. Hold on a second. That's the key, I just had to make the, the line a little bit longer. There's a bunch of free swimming peacocks in this corner. Dude, I am scared. Dude, I'm spooked right now. Come on. Kick. Kick, lure. Kick. Do your thing. Kick hard. Oh, come on. Come on. No. Oh, I had it. Dang. Guys, there's a peacock right on that corner. If I don't spook him with the bobber, that might have been a good catch. Come on. Right there. Kick. Kick, little lure. Kick now. Attack. Attack, little lure. Attack. 
Oh my god, he's... Oh my god, no! No! You saw the bobber jump, right? Yeah. Hopefully I didn't spook everything there. That's a big fish. Come on. Hit it. Cut him. No! Dang it, Zach. You had him. Oh my god. Yes, look at it. Look at my bobber. Look at the bobber. <laughs> you see him? <laughs> Zoom into that thing. Dude, he's right. Kick. Kick on the ground. Oh my god. No, don't swim away. Oh my god. It will be your... Dude. Come on, you are hungry. Dude, there's something right behind us. Look to the left. Look to the left. Fly. Oh my god. Did it hit it? Dude, that thing beelined at it. Swim. Swim with the fish. Oh my god! I just got whacked! No! <laughs> dude, I'm getting whacked by everything, dude. Come on. Guys, I actually messed up. So, I asked them to give me the smaller version of this lure, which comes with these really light treble hooks. I should have replaced the trebles because this is for a smaller fish, obviously. Dude, look how bent out the trebles are on both sides. Completely bent out. I had fish bite this. I had multiple hits, but I failed because the trebles got bent out on this lure. I'm sorry guys, I honestly wasn't considering it. I knew like peacock bass would do something like that to this lure, but I wasn't sure how strong the trebs are. So the lure works like live bait. I did get smacked several times. You guys saw me smack, smack, smack. I literally would have caught like five fish with this thing today. Dude, so it works. I just need to change the trebles if I want to catch a fish. So it's really cool. It's definitely an awesome holiday item if you want to stock someone's stocking stuff or whatever like that. Early in the video, it's going to be on the screen. I'm not going to put the link. You have to find out yourself. <laughs> cool though. It's a cool lure. It's a cool idea. It's definitely an interesting thing. And if anything, all my fish tank lovers out there who are just getting into a fishing hobby because I mixed it up for you, you can just hang this from your fish tank and have this thing <laughs> kicking around in circles for your little girl or boy or even yourself. I, my grandma would love to think that this is a real fish. She'd be like, whoa, look at that cool fish. It's so shiny. <laughs> Peacock bass have really hard, strong mouths. You need stronger hooks than this. So guys, I hope you enjoy this episode. Check out this lure if you want to get it. Definitely you know where to get it. AnimeAllure.com. We're fixing the pond with all of our giant fish right now. We're actually in emergency right now. So I got to get back there and see if that glue dried otherwise we might not have a pond in a couple days so stay tuned like and subscribe animatedlure.com is where i got this thing thank you so much for naming your little lure after me shamu is pretty cool so we're gonna catch them all we just need to change these hooks stay tuned for the next episode when we do it catch them all Woo! catch them all <laughs>